Now you've drawn multiple interesting correlations, kind of there's a, a triangle of correlations here between, um, if I understand it, the, um, the transients uh, first, um, second, um, uh, above ground nuclear tests um, taking place um, often, I think, you know, very close um, in time to the appearance of the transients. And then you're also correlating uh, both the transients and the nuclear tests with um, UAP events. So, so tell us about that. That's pretty remarkable to me that you, you, you don't just have correlation between two things. You've got correlation between three things and um, in all directions. So the genius behind this work is my colleague Stephen Bruel, who is the first author of the paper. He's at Vanderbilt University. So he has taken samples of uh, nuclear uh, tests uh, and he has taken the VASCO samples, the same that we won, the one that Enrique sent to me. And he has taken the samples of uh, UFO sightings from the UFO cat catalog. And he asked the question, he was thinking back on the same uh, um, interesting coincidences that we saw when our best cases happened to be during the Washington 1952 flap. And he asked, hmm, could it be so that there is a like temporal correlation uh, that explains these coincidences? And of course, if you also have a temporal correlation, it's not going to agree with the notion of that, how, that the entire sample are plate defects, because then you wouldn't see those correlations. If it's enough with that you have a significant fraction and you would already have interesting correlation perhaps with, uh, well, with something uh, as nuclear bomb tests, if there is a physical connection. Although remember, of course, always that correlation does not equal to causation. However, it does not agree with plate defects. This is something that you can say that this defies that. Again, the same way as with the Umbra test also defies the plate defect hypothesis. And so he tested this and he found weak correlations, but significant correlations. Um, and then you see these correlations between, uh, this is around three sigma level. I don't remember exactly 2.8 or something, but it's around three sigma for the um, UFOs and nuclear bomb tests. And this is, of course, agreeing with the lore and the legend of uh, UFOs and nukes. And he sees the same thing with the transients and the UFOs and the transients and the nukes. So it's like a triangle thing. So that was very nice and very fun to see. I find yeah, it super it's, it's, exciting. It's, it's remarkable, and and we have to remember that you know even if it's if we treat it just as data, it's something people can follow up on, and it's it, it opens up scientific research. Mm -hmm.